players okay. who, so, like Kataro said, are amazing at the game. So Tweet is seen as one of the upper echelon players, along usually with MKLeo. Yeah, people usually consider him top two in the world. Some people do consider him to be the best in the world. But the thing about the last time they played at Collision, mm -hmm. where Naira, I believe, 3-1 Tweet. Tweet. Tweet started off with Ridley, I think, he the cut, first yeah, he did. two games. And then he went Young Link and took a game, and then he went Wario and actually lost. So I, it, it says a lot that his Wario still lost. But he did but not decide to go his like true mains. That's the thing percent. I'm that's what that's the thing I'm saying, right? When I usually if a person is gonna go with a character like after the fact that they lost with other characters that were they were playing, it's gonna take a while for them to like reset and you know, understand how to properly play that character that they're really good at. Even if they're really proficient with the character, you kinda have to understand that all right, the approaches that I took with Ridley before the entire tournament, which he has been playing a lot of Ridley the entire tournament, then he finally realized there's wow. a threat. You know, Amazing. That is true, but that yeah. fall down so neutral air works really good against Wario, especially because Wario's like recovery yeah. without the bike. The bike is on the stage. It makes so you just have to recover kind of vertical with a little bit of horizontal. And Naro saw through that and just did a fast fall neutral air was able to take that stock. This is looking like 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 what you would say, destruction. Yeah, I mean <laughs> you gotta pay me for that. In any right, event, nice pooty right there from Tweak. Doesn't get the KO. But one thing I really like from Naro is seeing these nares to back airs. They have been setting up really well for off stage. Double jump back airs oh again God. to make it very That's difficult. It. Tweet That's didn't have it. a bike. He took him he out of the bike with that little bit of an up air deck to come out. Oh, this oh is chain. Here's very the chain. much in favor for Naira at the moment, and that was a fall down up, up air. air. Yeah, he tried to see if he can fall down up air so he can get another up air afterwards with a full jump, but didn't quite work out. Nairo, I have to say, Kataro, when I saw Collision Nairo, that Nairo made me believe that solo meaning Palatina could be a thing. Hmm. Like, maybe Palatina is heavily did, underrated did bias. I forget he went Ganon, but, you know, on to the next game. Here we go. Is that character top tier in your eyes? Yes. Okay, read. No, no. no. In, what, in, what, <laughs> in what universe? A universe far, far away? In the <laughs> ultimate universe. But here we go. <laughs> Definitely ultimate. Right now, Nairo having a very strong lead against Tweak. Here's the thing about Tweak. Tweak, sometimes when he loses a game very strongly, remember, he has a lot of characters. He does. Anybody that has so many characters, it's going to make them think, okay, I lost that game pretty badly. Let me just go one of the other characters. But let's talk about the pool of characters that Tweak has. Tweak Tweak has a character that uh, Ridley, right? He has Young Link. Yeah, Ridley, I, the feel like, don't I feel like as far as Ridley's concerned, Palatina eats heavies for breakfast. That's free. As far as Young Link is concerned, yes, Palatina can face off really well against characters that have really good projectiles, but Young Link is so nimble. In any event, right there, a shutdown by Nairo in the first game with Palatina. Like I said before, Collision Nairo gave me newfound confidence in Palatina to yeah. the point where I myself, as a Palatina main, felt like, Yes, I have a I have a wolf, I have a Greninja, I have a Fox, I have a Lucina, but maybe I don't need them. Maybe I just have to tighten up my Palatina, even though she may not have the best ground game. Her aerials are godlike. She's, and she's amazing. She's she is amazing. Top tier. She's a great tank. I don't tank. know what made you think Good. you could not solo main this character. Because I want characters that have an amazing tilts and jabs. Okay, but what she I had do, a great jab and smash for you know. That is true. Yeah. But what, I, what I do appreciate is that Wario uh, Tweet decided to say Wario. I feel like yeah. he started to kind of get like a hang too. of what to do mm -hmm. after a moment in time. But keep in mind, he did lose that last game, mm -hmm. and when he played a Collision, that one game that he did go Wario, he lost that too. Yeah. So it might be a chance that Nairo might be able to you know figure out how to take out this Wario. And as you can see here. Doing really well in the beginning of the first game. Wario not having the best hitboxes. Sometimes having trouble getting in. A, a little stubby, right? You yeah. know, he doesn't have the best range. And Nairo capitalizing greatly on that. You know, we've seen like him try to go for one of his fair to uh, fair to dash attack combos in the beginning. A little bit messed it up. He saw you saw a mistake for smash. And Tweak also noticing whenever he faces off against Palatina, he likes to di in when he gets down thrown by the platform, so he lands on it so he can get out of the combos. Regardless of that fact. He's still right now in a deficit versus Nairo. You know, he has a lot of experience against this character. You did tell me that Sylvanas, a person that visits your house a lot, does play Palatina, and he's pretty... Oh, he lives with y'all. Yeah. My bad, I, I effed up. Um, in any event, <laughs> you know, he's a pretty decent Palatina, and maybe Tweet gets some practice with him, but that ain't enough. Nairo's a different beast. Yeah, Nairo's definitely a different beast. At the moment, looking to be the best Palatina in the world, and uh, yeah... He is the best Palatina. Yeah. Like, at first, Smash 4, mm -hmm. TLTZ. This game? N Nairo. I I thought it was going to be the buzz, but the buzz could keep that Olimar. Not, I don't know if he's the best Olimar. Shuton kind of nasty with it. And but Myron, too. He exists. I mean, Myron's the reason that Shuton didn't win Frostbite. You know that, right? Yeah, that is true. If, so keep that in mind. Yeah. If if Myron did not beat Shuton, we would have had a totally different... What happened at that Prime, the the pre-event? pre, pre -event? 
Oh, the pre-event. Um, I believe it was Shutan. Shutan destroyed MKLeo, right? Yes. Uh, three one and three zero. Oh, it's really shocking to actually see that. Exactly. Lutsni got third place using the MKLeo twice, but um, MKLeo still got second. That's the thing about Leo. Yeah. He's really consistent. But speaking of consistent, Tweak really consistent at getting that waft. Absolutely. Either up air into waft or up tilt into waft. But Tweak's still having a lot of trouble. This is looking very similar to the last game where he got two stock, or it might have been almost two stock due to the fact that he just did not have a good start and was able to bring it back pretty well. But keep in mind, use the waft already. He's already at 60-something percent. It's going to be probably almost impossible for him to get the waft back unless he just, like, takes no damage oh. and camps it out. Yeah, I have to say, I'm very impressed with Nairo's spacing. Good cra catching the landing again, but he could set up for a back throw here. Nairo, whenever he goes for these down throw back airs and he messes up, at least his back is to the edge when he misses so that he could set up for a back throw every single time. <laughs> it's like a fail-safe. Yes. And keep in mind, the bike is on the stage. That will make it a little bit harder for Tweak to be able to recover. Yep. And especially if he just lets it be there. I know Gluttony likes to throw the bike off or a lot of times eat it. But wow. this time around, we have Nairo. Clean back air. <laughs> Once again, guys, as they say nice back air. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to tell you right now, I'm not going to comment on that because every commentator does. Who cares about how nice the back air is? What I want to talk about is the fact that Tweak is a player that is literally like in contention to be one of the best players in the world alongside MKLeo and finally ladies and gentlemen I need to see your Nairo Apexes in the chat because your boy has been working so freaking hard ever since this game has come out and he's been dropping to so many amazing players to the point where people haven't been talking about how great he is yes. as a player. He's starting to Nobody prove has it. been talking about how great Nairo is. They are act he's actually starting to prove it. He had some like shaky results in the middle That's of the ultimate saying. history, but again, he did win the collision event. Um so what was it? Say it again? Uh no no no, he didn't win collision. They didn't? Nairo did win. He won okay, over he uh, <laughs> uh, um it was a crown main by the name of Shoyo James. <laughs> that that was a different event. Oh wait, we're talking. We're not talking about. That's, <laughs> yeah, that's why I got confused. Suplex City. Suplex City. Suplex City. That's the one Suplex we won. Uh, Nara actually got second at so collision behind Mars. Behind Suplex Mars. Mars really won collision. Stop yeah. saying collision. <laughs> <laughs> but Nara still was able to get first place at Suplex City, proving that you know, give him some time, you'll be able to bring it back. But. Tweak, remember, the last time they did play at Collision, Tweak was able to take one game off of Nairo with his Youngling. So his Youngling might actually uh -oh. be the answer. But keep in mind, yeah. Nairo does have secondaries. A lot of secondaries. Nairo does so he might decide to switch. I agree with Kataro, but I don't think we're going to see him switch. He's been... When I watched Nairo at Summit versus Boyd's Pichu, and he got the W with Palatina? Yeah. That was all I needed to know when it came to the fact that me, as a Palatina lover, that you know what? Maybe we could actually do it, the Palatina Mates. Potentially. You know, it's yeah. hard, but it's doable. Potentially, but this is the matchup that he lost. It was only one game, he so he might be able to do it. However, keep in mind, he is now an entire stock down. He right is now. an entire stock down, but Naira did miss an opportunity to potentially run off, intercept, and up the recovery that would uh, that would definitely fall prey to a runoff drop zone there. Oh my you goodness. Know? It Twink looks like so good. Alright, so here's one thing about Young Link. Let's talk that about happens it. a lot of times people don't realize it. Young Link's yeah. attacks have such little lag look. That's yeah, the yeah. third the fourth down time there. in a row that I've seen it happen. Yeah. He does an aerial and narrow, he'll try See? to grab. He usually tries to grab yep. and he'll miss the grab because Young Link <laughs> has such a little <laughs> lag that he'll throw something on your shield, you block it. Sometimes even parry it, you cannot be able to punish. To the point where we'll have people that keep saying that parry sucks and that they <laughs> mismatch for. Anyway, here we go, guys. I'm not tweak. Um, game three situation here. Tweak with a mistake. That's not going to result in the loss of a stock, will it? Good air no. dodge by Tweak. Yeah, so that's the thing about it. If he misses the attack, he'll spot dodge almost every single time. And Nairo, he keeps trying to get the grab. If he misses the grab, that's it. That's over. He just gets hit again. So let's see if Nairo's able to adapt to that. He does have a potential three games to be able to do that. There we go. 39% right now. Two stocks on Tweak. Uh, to the point where it's looking like Nairo might have to There it is again! Yeah. Not yeah. even just aerials. Yeah. It comes like a lot of the F tilt, F tilt, down tilt, a lot of those attacks. It's really hard to punish. And again, you'll see Tweak just spot dodging and he does it and then punishes him right away. And, and, and. and you know, one thing I like about Tweak, he understands the tools that top players will use. Nice deep recovery. He understands that Nairo would also want to use that and they're off stage. And there's a beautiful wall time for tilt to get that KO. It was so active enough to basically punish the normal get-up attack. No, normal get-up. Apologies right there, guys. This and is such a weird set right now because is. the first two games, Nara won without it looking even close. Switch of character, and now Tweet just won without it looking close. But again, counterpick stage choice could mean a lot. We just had Pokemon Stadium 2 come out. 
Trying to see what stage Nairo is going to choose. Also, what stage that Tweet is probably going to take away. And I think Tweet will most likely stay Young Link for the rest of the set. Because, again, the last two times they've played, um, he's won the last two games. So, might as well stay with the Young Link and let's see what stage we're going to. Yeah, guys. Let's talk about the seeds for this tournament, too, before we continue. Tweet was the second seed for this event, while Nairo was sixth seed. It's really interesting just seeing how things are playing out right now. You know, regardless of the seeds that you guys may have at a tournament, that doesn't necessarily mean that things will actually work out your way, what? regardless of how good your seeding may be. That's an opening. Ooh, that's rough. He likes to do that a lot. He likes to up B because it's multi. So a lot of people, they'll spot drop dodge, shield. Right? Yeah. yeah. They'll spot drop dodge, shield. drop shield, and think like, oh, I blocked the first hit. I'm okay. And then they'll get hit by the rest of it. And you can follow up after it, too. Yep. Oh, my Pretty gosh. Good. That could have been a clean KO right there. But 84%, 90%. That boomerang. I love seeing the boomerang tricks coming out from both Young Link and Young Link in this game. The two Link doesn't exist. Here we go. <laughs> All right. So here we go. Right now, 92%. Let's see if we can get inside. Again, tweet. Had, being able to just like do basically two aerials right there in one short hop. You saw the Ooh. back there. You saw the neutral and Nairo couldn't even forget the punish. Oh my gosh, did you see the way he actually threw that boomerang yeah. off the platform to bounce it downwards so it shoots back upwards? Very tricky. And Nairo with that back throw, the E got him. Yep, managed to get it. Still. Falling neutral air. Yep. Ooh, that was beautiful by Nairo. He actually made it look like he would fall in neutral air and he second jumped below the ledge. Drop zone, second jump, neutral air. Fantastic to get that kill. It was so smart. And right there, capitalizing on the fact that there's invincibility on the dash attack with that shield. So that is very hard for Tweet to land safely. Ooh, okay. Beautiful fade back too, right there on the fair. And another thing to even talk about the neutral air that Nairo did, he made sure to go forward as much as possible so that he was close to the blast zone. So great job right there by Nairo. Managing to just keep this lead right now once week again. Tweak on the verge of getting knocked out of the bracket. A person who I thought was going to take this tournament after that amazing performance at Frostbite. Yes, that's the thing a lot of people forget. The last big major tournament, or the biggest tournament that has happened besides Summit, Tweak was able to win that pretty cleanly. Um, not, I don't know if anyone came close. I think it was only Cosmos. Yep. So, it just, you know, people seem to be forgetting about how good Tweak can be, especially when he decides to go his full mains, you know, no Ridley. I, I know he still plays Ridley, but I'm, yeah, he I'm does. sorry. I, I'll be honest. I mean, I think Tweak is amazing with a lot of characters, but when it comes to playing off against, uh, playing against top level players, you're going to have to bring your best weapon on the field, right? You can't half ass it. Yep. Sorry, PG Gaming. Anyway. And he's actually bringing it back right now, doing really well. Nice neutral air, and he missed the fire arrow. Ooh, if he had gotten that bomb into a potential up B, that would have been a KO. But remember, Young Link isn't that heavy either. And I like that Zare grab to be able to get the ledge. Oh, he looked like he was looking for the F tilt, but did not get it to work. And forward throw. Let's see if you get a boomerang confirmed. Now has to be a lot more safe with how he's recovering. He's actually starting to realize those aerials. No, and even, even, the, dash punish the, dash even the dash attack, right? he still wasn't able to punish. But he gets the neutral right here. Now the recovery of Young Link, not the best. And what? that's the thing. S such active frames on the neutral and Naira made sure to space himself in a particular manner where he would still be in range Ooh. for that will be recovery. Ooh. Nice, oh he waited. <laughs> nice by Naira by not trying to punish after the spot dodge because the player's using spot dodge canceling to their advantage. Here's a chain. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Naira! Uh-oh! Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Oh my god, Damn Nairo! Okay. What in the world? I was he was waiting looking for, for it. that second jump. He almost actually got it. That would have been a very clean C or zero to death to get that. That air dodge was so clutch because it gave him the opportunity to have stage before Tweak did. Okay, he waited. He understands there's barely any lag, but there's the parry. That was fantastic DI coming out by Nairo. I know it's at 160%, but he did down tilt, and a lot of times you could do down tilt to up air yep. or down tilt to up B, but Nairo is so far away that Tweak couldn't go for anything. Okay, right there. There's a back throw setup. No, Nairo's waiting. He's not trying to get too happy with those grabs. He understands that he has a big lead. 0% right now. Final stock can still take the set right now over Tweak again. Seed number two at this event. Down throw! Ooh. Gets the air dodge right there. Good DI again, but he needs to come back on the stage. A very safe 123%. Another neutral air possibly off the stage. Might be able to get the KO. Uh -oh, Tweak has to be able to recover safely. And good stuff right there. Being able Tweak. to recover. Yep, with the immediate roll at the end. I was going to have to look out for Oh, that. my <laughs> gosh. Yes, and there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Nairo moving forward to the loser's quarterfinals here at Prime Saga. Nairo right now looking to be potential.